Right, this screencast here is meant for the leaders of Plato Education College and it's to help them with uh, the CIS preparatory reporting. It's online and the CIS preparatory reporting is done by an environment called the Weave, the Weave Evaluation Environment. So to get to Weave, you actually need to do the following. You'll be invited to uh, enter a response. Uh, you're going a long way, and the long way to get to Weave is go to a browser and type in app.weaveeducation.com. It takes to this panel. At which point you type in your user details, um, your username and password. Once you've typed in your password and you entered it inside Weave, this is the home page. Okay, we've got CIS International Accreditation and uh, Perth International College, but we're only one school one site, so it's just one panel there, but you could have multiple panels depending on the school you're at with multiple sites. So we enter the accreditation module and it takes you to here. Now this is a shared site between teachers, leaders and the assist evaluators, okay? And it, it's sectioned off. Each section represents the prompt or, or, the, or the part of the school that the evaluators are looking for. From basic information, from the, um, to reflect the statements from the head of school, as you can see, it just goes down to the governors and boards, or part one, and then we kick into part two. Part two is the standards we need to reach. Standard A, and there's standard A there, domain A, and there's parts as to standard A, there's A1, A2, etc. Okay. Now, for this preparatory stage, stage two of three, because the third stage next year this stage we only need to address anything that says core. It says core there, so we address we need to address A1. A2 says core, same with that. 3 and 4 the same. If we look at 5 onwards, A5, there's no core. And this has got core, this doesn't have a core. So that we don't have to address at this point in time. The same, same applies for all the other, the, all the other standards. Okay. If you look at the documentation that the CIS give out, it's like a little rubric I gave out the exec the other day, or the leaders meeting, um, you'll find it goes all the way to domain um, I, but we only do address the, the domain H at this particular point in time. Um, so as far as it goes for us, well, we need to address H1, which is a call. Okay, so once um, you've been invited, you'll be invited to a particular section to respond to. Now I can jump between sections, so I want, uh, I want to respond to section A1. A1, I'll type in a shortcut there, and it shrinks everything down and just shows me instead of A1. It's another way of navigating. If I type in H1, the same thing happens. Just only the only the panel that shows H1 will be displayed. But this particular exercise, I want to look at A1 as an example. right? Now, if you're invited, you may not be invited to all the panels. You only, uh, if you don't, if you can't respond to a panel, you won't see a hyperlink repairity evaluation as we do your writing. That won't light up for you. But if you are a member to the panel uh, to make a response, then you'll see this section here, preparatory evaluation. It'll be linked, hyperlinked. You click it on, and you go to the reporting section. And then you go. that only happens if you're a member. Now, these people are members, right? Got people here. That's a CIS evaluator, by the way. Um, got local teachers. Okay, they're members to this. They've been invited. Now, this section is a response section to section A1. They're all very similar. Basically, there's different panels. The panels of the response team. They've been invited to respond to this. This section here looks at uh, the instructions from CIS. The description. That's the standard we're looking at. The instructions of how to write, and the instructions tend to be all the same. You need to write 200 words addressing those issues. Okay. At the end, it says here, make bold statement on the very top of your response. So all responses, well, they all need to have a bold statement, whether it's um, met, not met, partially met, or exceeds. So I believe that this particular panel here, this A1, we exceed. So there's your instructions. Over here is the evidence. You just drag and drop the evidence in there. I suggest you don't drag and drop the evidence in there. Just email it to me because I've got a little coding system that works for me and I address those coding systems in a narrative. And you can look at the response. Uh, you can look at the evidence. Okay. And the evidence becomes blended into the system. 
uh, it's, only one, it's only one page and you're a little description there so that part you don't have to worry about now you can go back by closing this particular panel you go back to this response panel so there's the evidence uh, panel there there's a description there's a response people this is a narrative this is what I need to write to you and uh, in 200 words or thereabouts I need to respond to that, that description this description here okay um, so this is an example right this is what I've written there's the evidence there now what I need you to do is you look at that read through the narrative add at the end of it add as much as you want that's not included in there all right suggestions of corrections if you don't mind doing it a different color be great and then I'll go back and revisit it and merge the two responses together and try to get it down to 200 words or thereabouts okay that's so you need to do that that's the first thing you need to do second thing you need to do is look at the evidence and say well yeah I've got some better evidence than that email me the evidence okay the third thing you need to do is once you've got the evidence in there you need to go up and down the evidence have a look at it and you need to vote that's it three things so you vote the reason why you vote is because statistically it gathers the highest ranking it highlights it to the evaluators who then home in on that highest level of evidence to see if it does support your narrative down the bottom then so all you need to do look at the narrative here add to it in a different color if you don't mind at the bottom if you if you want to um, look at the evidence email me other evidence if you want if you think if you feel stronger and then just click on um, thumbs up or thumbs down that's it thank you for watching